It's Madden NFL 24. And the question is, are you ready for some football? It's the Carolina Panthers and the Dallas Cowboys. All that and more coming up next. We are sandwiched between Fort Worth and Dallas, Texas in Arlington at the luxurious AT&T Stadium. Today, we've got a solid matchup in store in the NFC as it'll be the Carolina Panthers taking on the Dallas Cowboys. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gunn, and Charles kickoff moments away. Quickly, what are you watching in this one? The offensive line for both teams, because both teams have a terrific pass rush. They've got to keep their passers upright. If they have a chance to do that, they can both thrive on offense and move the ball downfield. Set for football now at AT&T Stadium. Brandon Aubrey has the honors, and we are underway here in Arlington. Taken at the goal line. And up to about the 26-yard line, just across the 25. So here are the Panthers now for their opening drive. And they will be led out by a guy certainly still trying to prove himself here in the league, the young rookie quarterback. We're seeing it more and more in this league, how teams love to have athletes back there taking the snaps, guys who can throw it and move around and get yards with their legs if needed. He's one of the best examples that we see out there right now. He can throw for hundreds of yards one week and then run for 100 plus the next. He adds an extra dimension that really confounds defenses when he puts it all together. They go play action, Young. Looking underneath and finding Hubbard. Four yards the result on the first play from scrimmage. Second down. Well, offensively, that's the mismatch that you want. You want to force a linebacker to try and cover your back out of the backfield, out in some open space. The linebackers nowadays, they run like backs, and they take a lot of pride in covering. What a nice play he made there in the open field. He's got his tight end. It's Tommy Trimble. And he'll be taken down, but not before they reach the 50. That one, a gain of 20 in a first down. There are so many things to watch for when you play defense. And reading your keys, you always hear about that, and having your eyes in the right place. Sometimes your eyes can fool you. How about that play action there? And it sprang the big guy, didn't it? Able to dump it over the top to him. He'll be taken down at the 48 for a pickup of two yards. Oh, that's a real nice job there by the defensive front. They just engaged and held their ground. But how about the guy who made the play? We often talk about whether they take a good first step or not. Many times you just don't take any step. Just get your feet moving, get your body going. And then once he made the read, he was able to make the play. From the shotgun, it's Young. That is caught by Thielen. And he is out of bounds, but not before he's inside the 30. A good-looking drive so far for the Panthers and a first down here. That early game script that they drew up is working pretty well here on this first drive. Already in field goal range, Charles knocking on the door of the red zone. You know, Brandon, when we met with the coaching staff, they kind of predicted that they would come out firing like this. I think you and I were a little skeptical that it'd be this easy. But they certainly knew what they were doing in scouting, in preparation, and understanding what their team was. Touchdown, Panthers! Aiden Hurst, 29 yards. And the Panthers will jump on top with the game's first score here this afternoon. Well, the underdog here is showing no fear. Great opening drive. Now, we weren't in the locker room for the pregame speech. But I will guarantee you, somewhere along the way, the head coach said, 
Let's just grab a big stick and smack them with it and let them know we're going to be here today. They may be the, the team that's supposed to be superior, but we're not backing down to anyone. And on the road, no less, setting the tone. Pinheiro's extra point up and good. And it's now a 7 nothing game. Now after the touchdown, here's Pinheiro to kick it off. And beyond the 20, but not by much. In fact, just a yard pass there to the 21. Now we'll see what the right arm of Dak Prescott has in store as the Dallas Cowboys offense sets up shop. It's been a lot of fun watching him advance in his career. Many people question his ability to throw the football coming out of Mississippi State. He's conclusively answered that question. In addition, a very strong runner and an even better leader. So Prescott of the Cowboys now with a first and 10 at their own 21. So the drive's going to start with Pollard, and he's going to be hemmed in and blocked down right at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play. It'll be second down. Early down stuff to put this offense in a precarious position. We know the securing the point of attack, especially against the big body guys in the middle of this D, has got to be priority one. Second and 10. Here's Pollard again. And he's going to get this one across the 30-yard line. Give him 10 there. Good enough for a Cowboy first down. A good run there off right tackle in an old-school NFL football. The right side of the offensive line, often known as the nasty side. The left side, usually the technical side. Kind of reminds me of the old Atlanta Falcons 2009-2010. That's how they constructed their offensive line. Powerful running. Absolutely filthy joke. He's got some space now. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. 17 more yards on that one as they keep the drive rolling. So back-to-back -back big runs picking apart this defense on the opening drive. I thought this was a passing league. I thought this was the era we were in where the ball was always in the air, right? They didn't get the memo. They didn't get the memo, and I know this to be true. Offensive linemen still, to this day, they want to run the football. They want to fire out and hit people across the line of scrimmage, and they're clearing space. They'll go with Pollard here on first down. Knifes his way forward here, but just three yards on the play, second down. Yeah, I don't know if it's exactly a win-win, but if you're on offense, you'll take that kind of a run, all right? It was kind of stacked up, found a little bit of yardage, and frankly, they're pretty close to staying on schedule on offense. The playbook is still open for the coordinator. Second down, Prescott. A short one there, taken in by Ferguson. And he'll be taken down as that will take us to the end of the first quarter of play. After one, 7 nothing on EA Sports. Start of the second quarter, and it's the Cowboys in possession as they've got it with a third down coming up. They'll come to the line, needing only two yards to gain the first here. And they'll try and run the option to pick it up. Fighting his way through contact. And he will have a Cowboys first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Plenty of things to talk about here, partner, but to me, their defense gave up a touchdown on the first drive. How about how they're responding, coming back? That's a big third down pickup to keep their drive alive. Pollard going to try the right side. And able to get him down, but he does reach the five. 49 yards rushing for him on their opening drive of the contest, and it's now first and goal. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I think they have three tight ends in on that set. And these guys are punching really well. I use boxing analogies a lot. 
A lot of coaches have told me that when you line up to run the football, it's 10 fist fights along the line of scrimmage, right? You've got to win your share. These three tight ends, they almost always win their fist fights. They'll run with Pollard. And the hole closes quickly here. He can fight only to about the four. It's a gain of a yard, and it'll set up second and goal. All of a sudden, those lanes that were there earlier in the drive dry up near the goal line. That's a good job defensively to diagnose the run and stop it for a very short pickup. Second and goal from inside the five. Here's Prescott. And this is caught for a Cowboy touchdown. Brandon Cooks from four yards out. And the Cowboys are an extra point away now from tying this ball game. Well, that's just how they drew it up, CD. His first read was there, got it to him quickly, and into the end zone. Absolutely excellent execution by all involved. And the coordinator, got to give him credit, found the perfect play call. Quarterback let it fly as soon as the target came free, and his guy made a nice catch. Just how you draw it up in practice and then execute it in the game. Aubrey good with a PAT, and we are tied at seven. Each team's had it. Each team has scored. 7-7 seven, seven here as the kick's away. And Raheem Blackshear now to return it. And no alley to be found. The coverage was solid, and he's dropped at the 18. Their quarterback leading this offense back out. He was 4-4 on that opening drive, including the touchdown pass, as he'll try again here to duplicate that success, starting with a first down. Start on the ground with Hubbard. And he'll power his way up near the 25. It's a six-yard pickup, but it gets him to second and four. If you're in the offensive huddle, you're smiling after that play because you've certainly got them guessing now. Second and short, could they just hand it off for another big gain? Or do they take advantage of this spot to take a big shot downfield? Second corner, two minutes to go. Tie ball game. Here's second and four from the 24. Throwing, Young. Throw left side on target to Thielen. And he goes out of bounds, just shy of the 45. That one, a gain of 20 in a first down. Well, that certainly has to feel good. It's not all the time that the play caller should get all the credit. Sometimes I think in the huddle, the quarterback just says, hey, who's going to make a play for me? I just need something right here. And the end result there, nice first down. Drive keeps moving. First and 10, Young. That is taken in by Hurst. And he is out of bounds, but not before he's inside the 30. That'll be marked as a 27-yard pickup. And this has been a nice answer to the touchdown drive against him a few minutes ago because they've come out and reestablished the tempo. A nice throw there, and they're putting together a very strong drive as a response. On first and 10, Young. Thielen, 29 yards, and the Panthers have taken the lead. Well, partner, I mean, if anybody was still questioning whether or not he had an NFL caliber arm, I think you can toss that right out the window. That was a heck of a throw right there. I would agree totally. Question it no more. This rookie, big time throw right there. Great poise, stepped up, trusted he could lay it in there perfectly and he knew that his guy was going to make the catch on the other end. Nice collaboration. Pinheiro's extra point up and good. And that makes the score 14 to 7. Now after the touchdown, here's Pinheiro to kick it off.
And he will be brought down here inside the 20. Good coverage as he's dropped at the 17. Second drive forthcoming here for the Dallas Cowboys. After that last score we just saw, now 14 to seven. So a chance to march down the field here, try to tie this football game. First down, Prescott. To the sideline, wow, what a catch. Doesn't get a lot out of it, but he is able to keep the feet in bounds. Two yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. Was that a receiver? <laughs> yeah, actually it was. It was a running back who was a receiver on the play. ike has been spending time in the receiver drills getting his feet down. Well, those guys out of the backfield, they got to be good, agile with their feet. He showed the agility there with a toe tap. No doubt about it. It's like he won the ballet school. Got the toes down and stayed in bounds. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. The Cowboys looking to get going again in a hurry. A first down throw for Prescott. And that's complete downfield to Cooks. Now the Cowboys going to burn the first of their timeouts as the clock stops here with 46 seconds remaining in the first half. So the big play moves him all the way across midfield to the 40 now for first and 10. Prescott. And that's complete to Colts. And he's going to have a first down and they get into field goal range here at the 29. That's the third time on this drive that these two have connected with each other. They've got a real rapport going. And right now, it's paying off with big chunks of yardage as shown by that last play. Prescott on first down. And that is incomplete. So 17 seconds now on the clock here. And not a common sight, at least on this drive. A momentary setback, though, for this passing game that has been moving well this series. Good thing for them, though. Still two more downs to connect and try to pick up another first down. On second down, Prescott again. The short one there taken in by Ferguson. The Cowboys going to use their second timeout now as they'll stop the clock with 12 seconds to go in this first half. Play number seven now coming up on the drive. Third and five. Prescott off play action. And that is caught. Touchdown, Cowboys. Brandon Cooks in the final seconds of the first half. And the Cowboys have a chance to tie the game here in the final seconds of the half. I don't think it's any state secret to know what they were saying before the start of this drive. Let's go and punch one in the end zone and go into the halftime feeling a heck of a lot better about ourselves. Let's go get this done. Yeah, tie things up, and then you get a brand new ball game. Now the extra point up and good by Aubrey. And that is going to tie our game as we approach halftime. So just eight ticks remaining here in the first half as they'll kick this one away. They had able to get this out to the 25.
All that remains is to snap this once, and that'll do it for the first half of play. So thanks to the late touchdown, it's a time ball game here heading to break. As we'll get you over to Orlando, where standing by is Jonathan Coachman. He has our EA Sports halftime report. All right, Brandon, back to you too in just a bit. But first, welcome everyone to downtown Orlando and our EA Sports halftime report. We thought this one would be a close battle coming in, and we have not been disappointed. They're all even to this point. This has the feeling of a game that could go right down to the wire. One mistake or one big play could turn out to be the difference. Okay, Coach, yeah, adjustments likely going to play a big role in this third quarter in what's been a tight contest so far. half all tied on the scoreboard the Cowboy offense set to go to begin this third quarter this offense ready for the first drive of the third quarter well, quarters number one and two entertaining we saw some good offense points put up Charles and all tied on the scoreboard and it sets us up for what could be a really fun second half because we've seen both sides score almost at will here in the first half and now, here in the second half, getting the ball first, you've got to think, hey, we can go out and really run our offense the way we did in the first half. But if I'm a defensive player, all I'm thinking is, can I make a play to really help out my team and break this streak of offense? See the athleticism there of Brian Burns stopping him behind the line. I know that speed is the hallmark of today's NFL game, but the key to good rushing defense is still having your linebackers set the edge. So a five-yard run the other way in the wrong direction, and that leads us to second and 15. Prescott from the gun. Over the middle, and there's a diving catch. And he'll be dropped at the 36. It's a good gain of 18 on a play that originated back at the 18. And not all spectacular catches are the result of a pass that maybe was not thrown quite right. Sometimes it's thrown in the perfect spot, and you have to just go get it. And he did that right there. No fear there in the middle of the field. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Here's Prescott. He's got his man. It's Gallup. And he gets us to the other side of midfield across the 45 before going out. Back-to-back -back receptions for him, and it's another first down. And when you're playing a quarterback with some experience and some moxie, you enter the danger zone when you decide to blitz him because if he's able to diagnose as he did on that play, he can hurt you downfield. He reads defenses so well, doesn't he? He really does, and the best part about that play for him, I don't think that was his primary target. I don't think so either. I think he had the read, figured out where the blitz was coming from, and went to a secondary target for a really nice game. So from the 37, here's a second and four. Pollard will take it up the gut and tackled down after a gain of three. Leaves him with one yard to go on third down. Holding offense. So not a lineman, but the tight end instead this time, drawing the holding call. And more and more what you're getting with tight ends are guys who are much more receiver than blocker. They may be willing, but that might not be their thing. Oftentimes, they'll be the ones getting the penalties. They try to throw on second down, but this one is incomplete. To give you an idea of how accurate he's been throwing the football, we're in the second half. That's just his second incompletion. Well, if he's that locked in, that means everyone's locked in because to me it's like throwing a no-hitter in baseball. The pitcher may get the credit, a lot of people making plays behind him in the field. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. He's in the space past the 25. Touchdown, Cowboys! Three touchdown passes now for Dak Prescott. And the Cowboys have moved down in front. 
a fan, is there anything prettier than a well-executed post route? No, it's a thing of beauty, especially when it's done like that for a touchdown. Uh, the throw, the catch, and how about the run after to get it to the end zone? Aubrey now for the PAT. It's up and good, and that'll make the score 21-14. A drive that time of six plays, and it's finished off by the touchdown from C.D. Lamb. So after the touchdown, Aubrey now to kick this one away. And he'll be brought down right on the chalk of the 20. The Panthers offense now, they head back on the field for their first possession of the second half. But Charles, you and I said in intermission, feels like we're set up for a good second half. Well, the other side scored, and now it's up to them to answer. How do they respond here with their first drive of the second half? Well, bottom line is they just saw the ball go in the end zone against their defense, and they saw what good offense looks like. They believe they've got a good offense as well. Run the best plays you've got to the top performers you have and try to move that ball down the field for an answering score. Young on first down. Into a double team, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Stephon Gilmore, and he'll get this back down to about the 12-yard line. Well, this is something we've seen before, partner. We've seen a defense bait a rookie, pretend to leave a window open, and then the defensive back jumped it as soon as the ball was released. Big-time play. They love taking advantage of the youngsters, and in this case, it paid off well. Dallas offense set for this next drive. But following the interception, they're set up nicely here, already inside the red zone, knocking on the door, if you will, first and ten. From down at the 12, it's first and 10. Following the interception, here's Prescott. Into the hands of Henry Shot. So the completion gets him just a yard, and it'll be second down. Completion was given up, but that's why you play zone defense, so that you can have people around the ball when it's caught, and you don't give up much run after the catch. Now second and nine. Out of the gun, a give to Pollard. And he couldn't quite get there. Tackled down at the one. 55 yards rushing now on eight carries for him so far. Most of damage has been done through the air. I mean, they've rung the bell three times with passing touchdowns. But guess what? Ground game has not been neglected. Nice little burst right there. This offense continues to be a hot knife through butter. Three drives, three scores, and not... And he will take it in for a Cowboy score. Punching it in from a yard away. And the Cowboys will add on to their lead here in the final minute of the third. And when the smaller guy can't power it across the goal line, Charles, sometimes you need to go with a fullback. They did. It worked. What's that thing about force and mass? How's that? Oh, yeah, yeah. Force equals mass times acceleration. Oh, that's big time stuff. That's, that's from the same guy the apple dropped on his head, right? <laughs> Aubrey good with a PAT. And a lead now up to 14. The drive there only spanning three plays. And it ends with a one-yard touchdown run. So after the touchdown, Aubrey now to kick this one away. 
Blackshear now on the return. And taken down just past the 20 at about the 21-yard line. The Panthers offense here, they get ready to head back on the field. And we'll see if they can bounce back from that last drive, in particular if they can bounce back at the quarterback position, Charles, after throwing their first interception of the ball game. Yeah, some guys, you know they're going to want to try and get a big play right away and take control back. Others, they're going to look to hit a couple shorter passes and get a little momentum back that way. But for the defense, that goal's not changing a bit. They want another pick. You're exactly right about that. In fact, you've got to watch them a little bit because in coverage, they may cut down their gaps a little bit, maybe their splits a little bit in order to try and get to the ball even faster. Let's just make this one simple. Could he be any more open than he was on that play? Yeah, they lost him going to the outside. Hard to believe because you go through your accounting on each and every defensive snap. Who's got who, what, what defense you're in. That was totally a blown coverage. Three yards on the pickup. That's going to set up an interesting third and about four to go. So they'll get a little extra time to come up with his third down play as we played three quarters. We'll return with more after this. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. This now a third and four. Back now in Arlington. It's the Panthers in possession of the football, but facing a deficit here as we get to the fourth and final quarter of play. He's going to wind up and air it out. Toward the sideline, intercepted. Picked up by Malik Hooker. And the Cowboys are going to have the football here at their own 35-yard line. Well, it certainly felt like he was going to challenge this defense no matter what. And he stepped up and tried to throw it to the outermost edge of the zone coverage. And they were more than ready for him. The problem now is if they are limited in what they're doing throwing the football, they got to figure out how to move it without being able to throw it to the outside and throw it downfield. And now Dallas gets set to take the field. They have to like the position that they are in. Fourth quarter, two-score lead, and now the ball back after the INT. Good starting position for the Cowboys here as they come up first and 10 at their 35-yard line. They'll run with Pollard to begin the drive. And he'll lose yardage. Brought down at the 32. So that time they get the tight end on the hold. Normally he's a pretty good run blocker, but this time he just didn't get his arms extended and let go quickly enough. The flag came out as a result. So following the hold, they're in a bit of a hole here with a first and 20. Now Prescott. They'll drop this underneath to Pollard. It'll be a gain of five. And that's going to bring up second down. A five-yard gain brings up second down at the 29-yard line. To throw is Prescott. He finds his man complete. That's Ferguson. They'll wind up getting 10 back as that sets him up for third down. That's a staple of this offense. Drag route to the tight end. Yeah, he's unable to use his size to break off much more yardage after the catch, but still an effective gain nonetheless. This offense so far on third down, a perfect three for three as they look to keep that streak going. This will be third and six. Looking to throw. Prescott. Working the middle of the field, and he's got a man to play. And he will have a Cowboys first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. And normally you might say, start running the football, you've got the lead here in the fourth quarter, but the way that they passed it with such success, I don't know, maybe keep throwing it. Yeah, I think you brought up something that goes against conventional wisdom, right? At this stage of the game, you would think you would switch to a running attack, but you're exactly right. They've thrown it so well throughout the game, and trusting this quarterback, I think he continued to do so. 
So the Cowboys in possession of the football here as we get you reset. And you'd have to figure they're just looking to burn these final two minutes away and get out of here with a victory. And now we'll see a timeout used on defense as they stop it right out of the break with 1.57 to go in the ball game. So second and nine, and you'd have to figure just about all 11 probably crashing the line here. He's going to get it again. Just looking to get forward and protect the ball. The Panthers going to use the second of their timeouts. That'll leave them with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. If they want a first, they need to get the football to the 32 here on third down. Prescott now. He's got his target. That's complete. Now the Panthers going to signal for their third and final timeout. And they'll be disappointed to have to burn one there after giving up the first down. See if the defense wants to stop it as they take the knee. If nothing else, they've already taken a couple minutes off the clock here already as they come up second down. Now a shotgun handoff to Pollard. And able to work his way down to the 16. 68 yards rushing for him now to this point. But you got to give kudos to your offensive line and the guy carrying the ball because they were in a second and long situation. It seemed pretty dire, but they brought it back to third and manageable with that run. Prescott, he goes down to a knee, and that should just about do it. Listen, anytime you take a knee to end a game, that means you've won it. So it doesn't matter whether it's home or on the road, but there's something a little extra special about <laughs> doing it in front of your home crowd, isn't there? And the home crowd applauding. They're happy with what they've seen. Chalk this one up in the left-hand column for a win. Yeah, that's right. Head to the locker room, throw the wristbands in the crowd for the kids, your gloves, your towels. Get to share it with the home team. So this one will end in a victory for the Dallas Cowboys. And it was their defense that really made the statement after the break. They pitched the second half shutout. Yeah, think about the team that just got vanquished. They did score in the second quarter. Do you think they thought at all that that would be their last points of the game? No, I, but what a second half. The adjustment, whatever they did in the locker room, it certainly worked. It certainly did, and you're exactly right. Whether it was an adjustment, whether it was just more focus on what they planned to do going in, whether they just played better. Whatever it was, it all came together in the second half, and no points were allowed. That's a great way to close them out. So that'll just about do it for Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. For more, log on to easports.com. It's a win for the Cowboys as we sign off and say so long from Arlington.